Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran to the no man, I still go What's going on guys? Bassin' it up. Moffat here coming at you with a new video for this week. In this week's video, we got some extra special good footage for you. We caught some nice fish. One particularly big one that we caught on the Huddleston swim bait. That one was a tank. So make sure you stick around to see that and where I break it down all at the end for you. So these fish, this is going to be a weekend trip out. First couple of clips are from the first day out, the Saturday, and the other couple of clips are from the Sunday out. So hope you guys enjoy and without further ado let's get into it step one wake up really gonna rise with the sun step two get some good some food in you step three you grow hard about what you want to be step four everybody just do your thing wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up just got out here and pop's already hooked up with one i'll feel crankbait that didn't take long. Yeah, we weren't even ready. Didn't even have the cameras set up or nothing. Pulled up to this point right away and Pop hooks up with a fat 16 incher. Woo, baby. Bigger than that. Hey, he's probably 17, yeah. See ya. Yeah. Are you going for little fishies? I guess it's a stump right here. Right here is where. where? Gonna... Right here is where I was throwing, I think. Go See this? A big fishy. This Mullox Glide bait, I honestly think works looks way better than the River to Sea. Look at it. River to Sea ain't that great. So look at see how it spins all the way back around. If you jerk it, it will literally turn back around, and supposedly that's a big triggering effect on big bass. Yeah, see there, right there. That's that's where I was casting. Because they think they get busted. Right here. It's in seven feet of water. Now we fished on a good ways and switched spots. I am now throwing a big Huddleston 68 special and dad is throwing a Jean LaRue Biffle head with a Jean LaRue Biffle bug on it. Both just slow reeling them along the bottom trying to hit cover. In this particular area there's some rock structure along the bottom and scattered along different areas and we're just rolling around fan casting and trying to hit all that and trigger a reaction strike out on one of these fish. Is hooked up. Swing head. Oh, I could. I could. You just broke your rod. No, f me. That was the dial. I like that rod too. <laughs> Not even that big a fish. <laughs> no, it was only like a two and a half pounder. Fat one, but. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the rod. That's so weird, it broke right there. Well, after the rod, especially boat flipping the two. Now we are both throwing chatter baits and just slow reeling them along the bottom, trying to reel them along the grass line and along the edge. This transition especially has a nice grass line along it. So we were trying to reel the chatterbait right along that and the transition and seeing if we could trigger a strike out of a fish. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. It's like a two and a half, three. Nice. Pops hooked up with one on the old chatterbait already. There you go. Yep, buddy. There it goes. 
Now we're getting into the day after where I was out by myself for most of the day, at least until my one buddy got off of work. And I start out chucking a chatterbait uh, around the same area where I had a lot of rock structure. This time of year, they were waiting to pull up and transition on a little bit deeper slope of that bank, waiting to pull into the cove to their spawning area. And I was just trying to bang off any of the cover there and pick off an active fish with the chatterbait. There's one. That's a chunk. That is a fat one, guys. Oh, and the hook just fell right out of him. Hardly had him hooked. Check that fatty out. Yeah. That's a nice fish. Check him out. The fatty. Let this nice one go, guys. There she goes. The old jackhammer. And fished on and on and went through a lot of different baits and a bunch of different areas. Finally pulled up to the bridge and found a few fish suspended along the pylons. And I was trying to work the edges of the pylons to get a reaction out of them with the uh, Berkeley Gilly. With it being a type of bluegill bait and slow falling and around the bridge pylons, I figured it'd be a good idea to use it and make it look like a dying bluegill. Hopefully get a bite out of one. Big one. That's the little one that was there with the big one. We got the little one that was there with the big one. Now there's a freaking giant down there we gotta get. Check him out guys real quick. Nice fat one. Let's let him go. There he goes. And I had to leave to go pick up my buddy and we hit another bridge or so and then started chucking the big Huddleston 68 special. Well, not big, six inches, but might be big to some of you who aren't used to throwing bigger swim baits like this. And I was just slow reeling that right along the bottom. Sometimes early in the year, these big swim baits are just the perfect thing to trigger a big bite and a reaction out of a big fish. And some days when it bites slow, that's all it takes to get that one or two big bites that you need. Big one. Oh yeah. Big one. Yeah. Woo, baby, on that big Huddleston, babe. Look at that freaking donkey. <laughs> that donkey. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that freaking giant, dude. He freaking gobbled that. Gobbled it. Alright, guys. One last look at this big giant. 
Nice fish. And let's let her go. There she goes, right down. Oh yeah, on the big Huddleston. This stuff has been ridiculous out here today. What did that other guy catch that you were talking to? Like a 24 incher? Here we are at the portion of the video where I break it down a little for y'all, and here we go. So these couple days, the fish were all in their transitioning areas. We were just running around, running and gunning, hitting different spots with reaction style baits, trying to trigger a reaction out of the fish. And dad was doing a little bit something different with the wobble head when, he, when we pulled up into that one cove. And that wobble head kind of acts like a chatterbait. You slow reel it along the bottom and it's just a little more subtle than a chatterbait. Doesn't have quite the vibration and quite the pick off as a chatterbait does and doesn't have that flash to it either. So it's kind of a nice subtler option. It looks like a crawfish skirting around on the bottom. So if they're really keying in on crawfish, it can be a good key to get a good strike and it ended up working out for at least one. And then really there was no pattern to anything that we had. It was a bunch of different baits other than the chatterbait we caught a couple on. And the big fish that I found suspended on the bridge. So this is something important with big fish and big swim baits in this early pre-spawn time of the year. They really react to big swim baits well. Now I'm not gonna tell you you're gonna catch 100 fish on a big swim bait or anything like that, but if there's big fish around, they have a really good chance at reacting to that big swim bait. I saw some stuff over the last couple times using that big swim bait that just blew my mind with that big swim bait and that's not even a real big swim bait like six inches for a swim bait isn't a huge swim bait like 10 8 and 12 inches are a lot bigger for uh goes swim bait sizes so people throw a lot bigger sizes for bass and catch even bigger ones but i haven't dabbled into that big of a size yet I'm still working on like the six inches and truly trying to uh, figure them out. And like just the reaction that I got out of different fish, I had three or four different misses with other fish and just that big swim bait, they really reacted to much better than anything else that I threw at them. I tried to throw different things like wacky rigs and jigs and other stuff at them and they didn't react to it like they did that big swim bait. That big swim bait, multiple times, they would follow it all the way to to the boat and show themselves and then two i had two or three actually full on grab at it and i just totally budged up and missed them but that's something really cool that i uh, have kind of stumbled into a little bit more of and it's pretty fun do have to say now dad's caught a lot of nice big fish doing that kind of stuff with the swim bait i've caught quite a few now but i'm really starting to dabble into it more and more now and i'm loving it so you guys should try it it definitely works and other than that we were just really hitting transition areas the whole day and looking for cover and trying to hit those cover along those transition areas and picking out a few active fish with those fish and the key was slow even though we were using reaction style baits we were going as slow as we possibly could with the chatterbait reeling along the bottom make sure it's bumping in stuff same thing with the wobble head i was doing the same thing with the big swim bait and that's what it took to get the bites out of these fish so make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and if you want to be entered into my thousand subscriber giveaway make sure you are subscribed to the channel that gets you an entry into the subscriber thing if you comment that also gets you another entry into the subscriber uh giveaway and that is going to be for a bait cash reel um i will have more details once we get closer to a thousand we're not quite that close yet so but it's going to be for a nice reel over a hundred dollar reel so definitely want to be uh subscribed to the channel to you get entered into that and uh even uh, uh, comment if you want to have more entries so let me shut up and we'll get out of here thanks for watching guys we'll see you later